what's going on guys welcome back today's day we start the wiring so this is gonna be a two-part video this is part one let's go all right guys some of you want to see this process done so here i am recording uh time to please everybody um, i'm just kidding but yeah so what is this rope for i made a post on instagram and almost nobody got it so and that, that's perfectly fine i didn't know you use these so what i'm the purpose of these is to make a template of where every single uh part of the harness gotta go so that then you know the length of your cable so you can just do it off of the car and you don't cut more cable than you need or less which will be really bad so this is what that's for so you pretty much just run that uh, rope around the car to where it's gotta go and uh, that give you your length what did you say what are you talking about Right, check this out so this is what the rope is for it's pretty much gives me an idea how long each cable gotta go and where where they gotta go in the car and this is the routing that I'm happy with so the cables are gonna be out of the way so so now I know how long the cables gotta be okay so next up I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my main uh, I guess we can call it a fuse box uh, but it's also going to include um, well I guess the fuse box include relays anyways I got my some some relays here that I'm going to be using the cool thing about this ones is that they already come uh, fitted with a fuse so you don't have to run an extra fuse for each one of those guys then we got a little bitty fuse box here only six fuses I don't think we need more than that some switches these are battery terminal posts for remote location and this is just in case the battery is dead and needs to be jumped uh, AC silly access since uh, my battery sits on the dash so that's gonna be remote located so easy to access to go ahead and uh, connect another battery or a jump box to it so anyways I wanna go ahead and start on that box so this is pretty much the layout of the box we're gonna have all my relays over here the fuse box here and then I'm gonna have a ground distribution block right here next to it which I don't have yet but it's about this long and it's pretty thin and that pretty much is gonna distribute the, the grounds to everywhere they gotta go so I'm gonna take a rough dimension here of this size and uh, cut it out of aluminum
right here's what that's looking like i don't have uh, the ground block here the ground distribution block yet uh that should get here in about two days so this is where i'm gonna lift this for now i'll catch you guys again with that guess here Alright guys, so here's what I got going on so far. Got all this finished up, everything is going to where it needs to go. And uh, at the end of this is going to be a plug, like a connector. Same thing on the other side here, connector. And the idea is that I can disconnect this entire box from the rest of the harness without splicing or cutting any cables. So I'm going to keep running cables now, some of them got to go through here and exit the other sides some of them are going to stay some of them are going to continue so there's still some more wiring that needs to go down here Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm installing my my four switches here on this panel. So anyway, these switches uh, correlate to my relays and fuses. Uh, some of them are for the interior stuff, like the windows and the lights. And this one, for example, is for my main EFI switch. So they will talk to each other. That's why I need them to have installed before I move on. Now I'm going to label them, but not yet, because this panel still needs some finishing. You can see that imperfection right there. So I still need to sand it some more and, uh, and polish it. But anyway, I just, wanted you to, uh, I just wanted to catch you up on what I was doing here. So back to this guy. I'm going to go ahead and install the plugs that are going to go on each end here. And then run the main power to this box. The main ground to here uh, put the grommets on and probably run the other cables i gotta go through i'm gonna show you that right, uh, right after this so here are the plugs that i'm talking about i got already that one done and these two up here uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and do this one now and show you
right, so all these are being labeled as you can see. And here I got my little uh, diagram go uh, going on. So the pin number and what each of those are and the plug name. So that is very important when you're doing stuff like that just to keep a record. So if one day you need to go back and check some electrical, uh, you got something to go off of. Otherwise, you will not know what each of these cables do. But anyways, now that that is pretty much done, what happened? What? Ah, oh, shit, you want me to go inside? So, as I was saying, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to these. So, these are the switches. They're right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, putting connections at the back of these right here. guys so the uh, fuse box is pretty much ready to go so you can see I made a lid for it it's got two nice uh, Allen key bolts on both sides it's got a kind of like a lid holder here just to pull on it to release it is sealed it's got a gasket in there all around for dust and also vibrations uh, what else so the grommets here so it's all, it's all pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the car. All right, so I got the ECU back on right there. Fuse box over there. So battery right below it. So everything is pretty much ready to go. Um, I'm doing stuff for the dash, which I'm gonna show you right now. So. The dash was cut in half. Uh, this is a plastic piece in the back that has the air vents for the window defroster and all that. I'm wrapping these in carbon fiber. So in order to keep going, I need this piece done. And the reason for that is if you look at the dash over here, that piece is going to sit right up there where the white mark is. It's going to cover all that. And then the second dash piece is going to bolt right in. I need those two pieces in place in order to uh, install the switch uh, switch panels and then I can have a more accurate uh, location where everything needs to go so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then uh, and then go from there all right so that is where I'm gonna end this video um, on the next one you're gonna definitely see me uh, run all the cable mess uh, here all that all that needs to be installed So all cables. Don't let that scare you though. I know where everything goes. I got it all labeled and uh, I got a plan, which is uh, it's what matters. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, catch you guys later.